your ID, please? No, We're sir. We're investigating something. Uh, now y'all investigating something? Yeah, I mean, First you said somebody called and said it was a burglary thing going on. This shit accusing me of abducting anyone? No, but she's worried about it. It's a safety. I'm worried about a lot of things too, but I don't be calling the cops some people for every little issue. And my biggest problem with this is people who come into this police lobby, the first thing they think is, man, is these police dirty? Welcome back to CT3, where we highlight clips and I'll recap with a few educational pointers to ensure your rights aren't violated on your next encounter with a cop. It worked. The owner is looking at this though. Like, he got 45 cameras on the building. No, I get it. He's looking at his work. So, whoever called, that's crazy as hell, bro. Yeah. I mean, I know y'all doing um, your job, but I'm sitting here working. You want to call the owner, you working, you huh? just call the owner just so we... No. You don't want to? No. Okay. It's a waste of time. He's yeah. looking at me. Why don't you call the owner? Yeah, I would call the five. Just call to... the owner so you guys don't get jammed up. We got to confirm. Yeah. Confirm what? We got to confirm that you guys work for him. I mean, if it's not a big yeah. deal, just call him real yeah. quick. Like, what? hey, the police got called. I'm not putting something on somebody's window for no well, reason. That, that makes no sense. I know that's that, right. so just call him so we can confirm it. Yeah. I'm not doing it. This is ridiculous. <laughs> This is ridiculous. You said it earlier, we got to do our job, right? So right, but y'all, if this is a business, y'all should know how to get in contact with the owner as well, too. What's that? Should know how to get in contact with the owner. If this is a business, somebody says it's a burglary or something so going you on. you got your ID on you? No, for what? Am I being detained? Can I have your ID, please? No, We're sir. We're investigating something. Uh, now y'all investigating something? Yeah, I mean. First you said somebody called and said it was a burglary or something going on. That's, that's another lie. Why you gotta be so I'm not being You're difficult. I, I, me too. I'm out, working. Us, yeah. Like, I mean, because I know y'all got y'all cameras out. Mine is out too. You, you, All right. Kind of being like difficult right I'm, now. I'm working, bro. I understand. And y'all interrupting me. I get it. Can I see your so idea? I, I don't need to show you my idea. If I'm not being detained, I don't have a warrant. Um, anything. It makes no sense. A, a possible crime right now. A burglar. Right? Well, you didn't say that. You didn't say that when you first came here. Now I am. Well, you're contradicting yourself, sir. I'm not, here to argue with you, I'm not here to argue with you either. I'm not here to be difficult with you. Me neither. I'm just doing my job. Listen, There's a thousand can, cameras on this building. Listen, if you just so, call the owner, we can end this. Yeah, and you guys can continue. Y'all can, re re right can reach the owner. Every company, y'all can call the owner. And say, hey, we have a burglary temperature at your establishment. And they'll, they'll come right here. Or they'll call. I don't need to do it. That's your job. Y'all ask who owns this building. I'm pretty sure there's a phone number down at City Hall or wherever. Y'all call him and verify that. Somebody's putting work on his windows. Um, I'm gonna do this for nothing? What kind of work that makes no sense. You're looking at it. I don't know what this is. I don't oh, know. Yeah. Tense? Tense. There you go. Yeah, I wouldn't just be putting this on somebody's window without their knowledge. Man. That makes no sense. Oh, no, I'm not disagreeing with you. Right. But well, if y'all see that's what's going on, it's the name of the company. I'm here putting this on the window. What's the name what of your am guys I company? doing? What's the name of your guys' company? I'm talking about this company. Yeah, Quality Motors of Western New York. What do you work for? I work for myself. A Dre Cordier. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, do everything. Tent, signs, business cards. Uh, actually, you want to call the mayor? Call your boss. He know me. Cool. You're the boss. Sound? The mayor. Yeah, Sound? yeah. Want to call him? I'm not gonna bother. Right oh now. yeah, you know, and I ain't gonna bother the person I'm working for either. Makes sense, right? But if you call him, he knows exactly who I am. Okay. He'll verify who I am if you need to like verify who I am. Okay. All right. All right, we gotta do two more, buddy, and be out of here. Yep, we'll do them. As long as the rain ain't hitting us. There's a lot of other stuff going on in this city, man. Y'all over here doing this. This is ridiculous, man. There's a lot of guns, a lot of these kids, a lot of crazy bullshit going on, and y'all right here bothering me. Y'all got bigger fish to fry, man. Come on, man. Y'all got bigger fish to fry. You got bigger fish to fry, I'll tell you that. Bigger fish to fry. Yeah, it could be. Check the doors. I'm pretty sure they all locked. First somebody caught. Now it's a burger. Yeah, good measure them up, man. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We're not accusing you of doing anything. Well, I, I get we that, just, I get that, but I mean, Stevie wanted wonder to see that we're working. And I don't think anybody's going to put something on somebody's window without them knowing. Right. That just makes no sense. Right. If you agree, it makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, no, I get it. You know I have the shit that we go <clears> and I get it. I'm a black man over here. Somebody called and said 
Well, he said somebody called and said, uh, there's something going on over here, but we're working. So whoever said something's going on. You know the owner of the property, right? If I'm working for him, absolutely, right? So you know what I'm saying? Makes no sense, you know what I mean? I tell him they can call the boss, he can call the mayor, he knows exactly who I am. He'll tell you guys you're probably wasting your time. And they don't want to disturb him on a Sunday. If we were to call the mayor and be like, hey, there's some guy here. Yeah, like, actually, you know what? The guy? Like, Look, I don't want to mess up my video. I would have called him for you. I would have interrupted him on a Sunday just, just, just for that. I got the number. It's completely up to you. It's completely up to you. I don't... Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know it's up to me. I'm just saying, it's just a. Yeah, you guys are putting up the windows. You guys put up like the. Uh, I think the. Uh, tent. Um, he has a business. They haven't reached him yet? No, they can't reach him. Can't reach him? Uh, Do you want to call him? Can you call him? No. I already tried to call him, but I don't know why. Hmm. Who? Um, unless you want to get something up the truck. All right, you too. Yeah. Yep, thank you. Now they're gone. This guy, damn, back in here, got a chip on his shoulder. Respect to Andre Cortea for handling this situation with unwavering composure and clarity. You demonstrated exactly how to navigate a tense encounter with professionalism and a deep understanding of your rights. Officers are required by law to have reasonable, articulable suspicion of criminal activity before demanding ID as established in Terry v. Ohio, 1968. In this case, there was no valid evidence of wrongdoing, just an individual doing his job. Audrey had no legal obligation to provide ID, making the officer's insistence both unlawful and an abuse of authority. What's even more troubling is the officer's refusal to take simple steps to verify the situation, like contacting the property owner directly. Their unwillingness to resolve the matter efficiently escalated what could have been a quick clarification into an unnecessary conflict. This kind of behavior fuels distrust in law enforcement and highlights systemic issues, especially when bias and profiling seem to play a role. It's hard to ignore the racial bias when a black man working in public is treated with immediate suspicion, a clear violation of the promise of equal protection under the 14th Amendment. Adre, your calm and collected demeanor turned a frustrating moment into an educational one for everyone watching. You proved once again that the Fourth Amendment protects all of us from unreasonable demands and baseless harassment. You're an example of resilience and strength in the face of injustice. Keep inspiring others to stand up for their rights, just like you did. And let's keep going. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good. How are I'm you? I'm Corporal with the Millsburg Police Department. The reason why we're making contact, uh -huh. some lady came out to report that you've been sitting out here for over four hours. Okay. And we're just trying to find out what the deal is, what's going on. Just sitting here, minding my business, not doing anything. You got any credentials? I'm not going to provide that, just because of a call. Burn v. Texas. You, you told her that you're a correct? Yeah, that's what I told her. Okay. Do you yeah. have any credentials? Yeah, but I don't want to provide that right now. Why not? Huh? Why not? Because it's optional, and I just don't want to provide it right now. What's that? Because it's optional. If you're a you have to provide credentials to what you're going on, and you have to report it to the dispatcher that you're out here. No, but I didn't tell you that I was I told her I was a I'm not telling you that I'm one. Well, this is private property, you know? This, what, what is private property? Private, what is private property? This road right here? This road is private property. How is this road private property? Because it is. It's a development. It's oh. run by the HOA. Oh, where's, the, where's the signs that says private private property? There's no signs that says trespassing there. There's a public street. And there's no signs that says private parking there. Or private property. There's absolutely no signs. There's none. There actually is probably out in the main entrance. Where? So I actually know where the HOA person lives. Well, over there is probably private property, but not here. This is a private property road. This is not a private property yes, road. Is, this sir. is accessible from the public. That's the public it, it, street there. It, it might be access from the public, but this is private property. Well, no one asked this me. This is an HOA run well, development. No one asked me to leave. Hey, can I have your name, please? 
It's Officer Shockley. Officer Shockley and Officer Bullock. Oh, can I get a badge number? Uh, 1098. Can I get a badge number? 1082. 1082, okay. Yeah. So if even if it's private property, the owner has to ask me to leave, and this is a public street. Okay. I already did a GIS well, serve. I already did it. Investigator, we can we can also remain out here until you're uh, completed your your investigation. So this stuff is a free country. I mean, you're right. Of course, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but well, I'm not gonna. What, what she's worried about, she has a child that's out here, and people abduct kids. But did, so it, did she aware, accuse me of? About that. Did she accuse me of abducting anyone? No, but she's worried about it. It's a safety. I'm worried about a lot of things too, but I don't be calling the cops on people for every little issue. If there's no okay. crime, unless there's a crime, right? You're I, right. Yeah. Um, well, your tag doesn't come back to anything, so I'm going to be running everything. Else so, if you out. don't mind me asking, what are you investigating? Huh? What are you investigating? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I just don't like to identify just because someone calls. You I understand mean, that? I, do, I just don't like to identify just because someone called. Brunkfield, Texas State, absent RAS. There's no probable cause for you guys to get my information. And that's the reason why I don't want to call. I know he's going to probably want some retribution because I know my rights. But I'm not asking that lady to identify. I gave her a courtesy of telling her what I'm doing here when she... When she um, approached me, and I thought that was the end of it, but apparently not. I didn't have to. I could have stayed silent and not say a single word. Mm -hmm. Right? So and it's my you, right you not to identify. Why she's concerned. I have a lot of concerns too, but if I'm not breaking a law, right? Should I identify? Should I just sub give up my Fourth Amendment rights? Well, no one's asked you for your information. Yeah, he did. Okay. That officer did. Well, you. You don't have to give it to him. You're I right. know, but you heard, you heard what he said just now. What? I have your tax. I'm going to run the information. I'm going to run everything. Be just because they invoked my rights. You think that's fair? I'm you're, not doing I anything mean, you're wrong. you parked on a public street. Is... Yeah. A lot of people parked in a public street. That car is parked in a public street. So, you're, you're right. It, it's a, it's a, a public roadway. Mm. Um, so, you can park here. Um, mm. We just... We're more concerned about what's going on yeah but i dispelled your fears yeah, i yes, said you're you're right okay. I, what i'm doing you guys have the tax so no you know right and not a single person reported a crime they're just a suspicious car suspicion is that a felony or a misdemeanor yeah, i know right? that's why we made contact with you exactly i'm okay. i'm talking to you right yeah. i didn't have to say a word i could have just stayed silent the entire time but i'm not that type of rude person who just doesn't say anything we're all humans right so I prefer to just communicate a little bit, but I'm not going to give up my rights just because of her fears. At no point in time did I trespass on anyone's property. I stayed in my car. Mm -hmm. This is the safest place I can be. Yeah, and I told you why we made contact with you. I heard you. Okay. I heard you. So, yeah. but, do you have any questions? Um, yeah, am I going to be, um, is there going to be some sort of retribution just because they invoked my rights by this guy here? I understand. You sound reasonable. You sound like a professional, honestly. There are not too many cops who are professional like you and level-headed. Yeah, he I mean, sound... I appreciate that. Um, you're right. It seems like you know your laws. Yeah, I'm very much aware so, of all of them, yeah. Um, but no, I, we're good to go as long as yeah. you don't have any more questions. Yeah, and, and you can very fair. I'm not disrespectful to either of you. I, I just want to invoke my rights and be left alone because okay. I will try to tell people, okay? If in my neighborhood someone parks a car, they're there for several hours, of course I'd be concerned, right? Yeah. But what I would do is just document their license plate number, take a picture of the car, but I'm not going to call the cops on someone for no reason. Yeah. You know, if I see them trying to sneak into someone's property, well, that's a different story, right? Mm -hmm. But someone just sitting in their cars, you know, people's, I got to understand their fears can't trump people's rights. You know, to just be here on a public street. Yeah. Right? I mean, I wouldn't do that to your son. I mean, I'm just assuming you have a son or whatever. No matter what color they are, I wouldn't do it. And maybe that's something that people need to be aware of, you know? Yeah, but you have to understand the day and time we're in. Listen, it's always been danger from way back then to now. We're in the safest times we've ever been in right now with the level of security that we have. Okay, yeah. Things were worse back then. We have a lot of security. There are cameras everywhere. It means you call a cop here. That doesn't mean things don't happen. No, no, things do happen. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But nothing is happening here. Right? And yeah. things happen everywhere. So, 
we can be calling you guys for every single little thing. Imagine if, if everyone did that. You guys would be stretched thin, right? From one call to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. Imagine that. You, we we, we got to use, we got to be rational and think about when we call the cops, man, instead of wasting resources like this. Say, ma'am, hey, do you have the license plate number? We, you know, we have the tags and we'll send an officer just to drive by and observe. And I think that that's how it should be. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, well, you, I hope you agree and understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, I, I hear you. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to get out of here, okay? I appreciate you, man. All right. Do you have a car? Uh, can I get a incident, the card number? I want to request that 911 call and hear exactly what that person said. So what? they came to our police department. Oh, they actually came all the way there? Yeah. Huh. Well, the incident number then, so I can... Let me go get it for him. Thank you. All right. Uh, 24. All right. Thanks for your professionalism. I'm surprised she actually went to you guys because normally I never tell them what I'm doing. I gave her that courtesy and she still went. So you see the reason why I don't talk to them? I don't tell anyone why I'm here. They yeah. still call the cops regardless. It's a waste of time. So. All right. Well, you have a good one. You too, man. attention in front of my house I'm not I'm not gonna do anything I'm just wondering why all this attention in front of my house I don't feel I gave you the courtesy by telling you what I was doing here to dispel any fears and yet you still went and called the cops on me not I'm me. gonna you just said you went there you're the only person who I told what I was doing so it is it is you no I told my neighbors that that's why you were here because we've all talked well, I'm not doing anything illegal, and I didn't even have to tell you what I was doing. I could have stayed quiet, left my windows up, and not said a word to you. But I chose to be respectful to you, because I saw you had a kid. Let yeah. you know why I was here, but still they called the cops at me. This I is the reason I why can't, I, can't, I never I tell anyone what I'm doing. I can't, I can't speak for what other people do. But I wasn't you, even home. I left, and I'm here, and then well, I got two cop this, cars I, in front of my house. Domino effect. You told someone, and someone went and reported me. So. Does. We take care of each other. Who's well, that you can say, well, here, he's car. here for a good reason. At least that's what he said. Let's just take a picture of his car. Well, we got little girls. We got kids. And I got kids in my there. neighborhood, too, and I don't call the cops and people who park there. And you know what I do? I what take do note of the car, take a picture and document the license plate number and watch. Yeah. There's no crime until there's a crime. So, so what you'll need to do, and here, here's, a, here's the problem. This is a private roadway, but the only thing is, is what he what he's saying if the hoa has signs up saying that it's private property yeah or soliciting we, we actually if we if we had that up there and signs were on there we could actually pull them out of the car and lock them up the truck they but can't do, do that you'd, you'd, you'd have, you have to get, give me the opportunity to, to leave we don't have the signs up there there's nothing that we can do to take action right now Mom, right let me now. tell you how trespassing works. You'd have to give me the opportunity to leave, okay? That's exactly. And he exactly. said he would pull me out of the car. You see what? No, I exactly said you see what happens? would have to give you the chance to leave. We you see what happened? No, he didn't. What was his words exactly? We could have I, I, pulled him out me, of the let car. Me, no, let me, let me, but let I'm just me saying, you that. see I'm sorry. why you we don't call cops? Because ignorance is bliss. And people like this cause harm to innocent people like me who are doing nothing wrong by pulling me out. And I will sue their department. From from now till to the end of time, okay? Especially Sir, I, him. I misstated the term, okay? What I said, we would we would make contact with you, okay? And then if you refused to leave, then we would take action. That is yeah. the correct procedure yeah, right sorry. there. Not I'm yank sorry. me out of the car. I'm sorry. All right? There's a proper procedure. I'm very well aware of all the procedures, okay? So that's why certain yeah, things can't fly by me. I know my rights. I mean, yeah. I just want my daughter to come outside and feel and I, safe yeah, and in I our front yard. That That's all I'm asking of you right now. That's the only thing I'm asking but, is for her to be. This is where they play. There's all this suite here. I'm just, will you please, with all the please courtesy, what? just move there and you can And then what? Have that want. neighbor call when I'm right down here and you're aware of what I'm doing? But nobody's outside over there. What my difference would it make if I park on the other side of the street opposite your house? How does, how does that make you feel safer? Can you just explain my that to kids, me? My kids 
doesn't want to come out. I talk to her about stuff, and it's, it's just. Mom, please teach okay, your daughter well, you the know, law what? and people's rights, and tell them I'm not here to cause them any harm. Okay? It's, 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 not, it's not. I didn't bad. even want to. We, we don't I'm know not that. Saying you we are. don't know who you are. You know, I don't know who she is. What if she has a body in her basement right now? Do you know that? Okay, listen, I don't know that. Listen to me as a mom. You see, you're, you're... I'm a father, yes. okay? Well, then, or so, as a father. Listen yes. to me as a mom speak. I'm a mom is what I'm saying. I know what you are. Okay. But what I'm saying is my child came home and she's got two police cars. She's asking me who the car is. She heard me ask you who you were. You said who you were. I've got neighbors calling me asking me who's that in front of your house so they think it's me okay. and I I calm them by saying what it was well nobody wants the girls to come outside and play okay. because of all the wrong in the world not saying that you're doing it but we'd be dumb if we just sent our daughters out here all willy-nilly mm -hmm. to be snatched in a car okay so now my daughter is nervous to come outside that's all I'm standing here saying to you now because you're parked here Sure. And that's abnormal for this neighborhood. It's abnormal for a car to be parked with someone just sit, sitting in a car. Yes. Let me for ask this, you a, for three hours. Yes. All right. Let me yes, ask sir. you a question now. Yes, sir. Let me ask you a question now. Are you you know what the Bill of Rights is? I know exactly what it is. Good, yes, sir. Maybe you should teach your daughters about the Bill of Rights and people's right to do this. Okay. And not only that. Hold on. The cops came. Whoever called the cops, they came. Would she feel safer now that they came? They made contact and they are about to leave. And I'm still here. No, she's going Why to wouldn't be, she she's feel going safer? To feel uncomfortable because okay. there's a man she doesn't know as far as she's concerned <laughs> just sitting in the car for nothing. You know why that logic doesn't work? Cuz a lot because of cars come listen. a lot of cars okay, drive through here. here. I'm not watching at your kids. Are you serious? First off, kudos to you for standing your ground and refusing to give up your Fourth Amendment protections. Police can't demand ID or escalate an encounter unless they have reasonable suspicion of a crime. Simply sitting in your car or being labeled suspicious doesn't meet that threshold. Terry v. Ohio, 1968, made it clear, police need more than a hunch to detain you or run your information. What's especially troubling here is the repeated misuse of authority. Claiming the road is private without clear signage or HOA enforcement is misleading, whether intentional or not. Trespassing laws require an explicit warning to leave before any action can be taken. And suggesting they could pull you out of the car, that's not only inaccurate, but dangerously close to violating your rights. When police showed up, they failed to articulate a single crime you were committing. They wasted resources and time prioritizing a neighbor's fears over facts. Remember, Suspicion is not a crime, and your rights don't disappear because someone feels uncomfortable. You handled this situation like a pro, staying respectful while firmly asserting your legal standing. This is how you hold people accountable and educate others along the way. Let's keep going. Court is behind us, so we got no standing. They say we can't record in here. Let's take a look what we got here. Remember the public hippie from inside this facility? Man, we have seen this before. We're prohibited by what? Let's go ahead and get here and talk to a supervisor. Yeah, can I talk to a supervisor and can I get a FOIL request form? I'm sorry, what was the first thing? A uh, supervisor. I'd like to speak to a supervisor or maybe the chief if he's available. And, and the other one would be a FOIL request form. Thank you. I don't think they're going to spend too much, too much money on these signs here because they're definitely coming down. If we got to be here every week, guys, we will have these signs coming down. It's a nice lobby. I don't know what, what their deal is and why they don't want that, but... Hey, sir. 
to the supervisor. Yes, I am. I'm here to work on a story with the uh, Freedom of the Press, and I'm just um, more curious about this sign over here. It says that members of the public are prohibited from audio, video recording, or photography inside this facility. Is that specifically referring to beyond the, sec the secured points, or are we talking about this office here? We're talking when there's another complainant or another party inside the lobby here that could impede their right to report something to us. Well, my real question is, it says prohibited. Yeah. Now, you guys are law enforcement. Um, what law prohibits that? Look, we're just doing, we just posted that so that someone's right to report something to us is not. No, no, I, I got it. I get that. But this sign, that, that's this only, sign that's doesn't, only it holds no authority is what I'm saying. Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, video recording inside this lobby is constitutionally protected activity. Um, I have members of the public ask me to come down here and address this with you guys because uh, I have the same thing in, in uh, the exact, almost the exact same sign, if I'm not mistaken, in Depew. And I, I would suggest maybe for you guys to change, you could change the sign to say something, members of the public are prohibited from audio and video recording people's personal information. I'm sure that, that, that there's some penal code behind that, but when we're in public here, we, there's no expectation of privacy inside this lobby. If you guys got, you know, to take somebody behind the closed door over here to create privacy, that's up to you guys. But as far as the sign, um, I'm just looking to see where it gets its authority from. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so your, your issue is with the sign that's not posted that while someone is in the lobby, that no recording can be done while someone is in the I'm, lobby. I'm saying if, this, if these people are in the lobby right now, I'm not taking their pictures. I don't care about their personal information. If I stood in this corner and they had something to say to you guys, you couldn't physically stop this camera from without breaking the Constitution and breaking the law yourself. No. So this sign has no authority whatsoever. And my biggest problem with this is people who come into this police lobby, the first thing they think is, man, is these police dirty? They're lying to us right off the bat. You know what I mean? You see where I'm coming from? Yeah, I, and I appreciate what you're doing. Basically, when someone comes into the lobby, they may give out some information that may be confidential. Right? It's the first initial contact with us, talking to our dispatchers, about a case, an incident that they're involved with. Right? What we want to prevent is for and I have And I do, in. and I fully understand. I fully yeah, so, appreciate so what all. you guys so, are getting at, but like, my point is this sign just makes you guys look like a dirty police department. No, not at all. So I'll. But it I'll, does, or I'll, otherwise I wouldn't have been told to come down here and ask you guys about it. I mean, I, this sign doesn't say it's prohibited from video recording. Um, it just says video recording and photos, period. I mean, even what you're saying, like, is to keep me from video recording people's personal information. So, how did photography get on there? So, that's all we're concerned with. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did photography get on the so sign? I appreciate like that what part? you're doing, and I'll take this information that you're giving me, I'll forward it to my administration. Okay. My administration's the ones that, po that posted this. Yeah, I, I filled out a FOIA request. We're going to find out uh, who uh, authorized the sign sure. and where it gets its authority. Yes. And uh, I also think I FOIA requested the chief of police's email so we can address this better. Um, but I just want people to know that we can video record in this office. This, this office is pretty much public as it gets. Right, and, yeah, and, and we, we have no problem coming, coming here to here disseminate recording information online. recording. Right, we have no problem with that. The only issue is when someone else is in here. Um, trying to record something like yeah, that. And, like I said before, and that's more that's more on a person stuff. like me as a as a professional, and I do what I do. I professionally, would, I'm not taking putting these people on camera. They're in here, you know. If she's got personal information got, or something, I'm not going to do it. So I may pick up on something that. Oh yeah, may not and you know, that's that that would also be on me to you know delete that out or mute that out. But it's not illegal for me to stand here and record in this office and get anybody's walking through here. I mean the signs. They really need to go, or they need to be changed. All right, thank right, you very much. Else you do, no, that's it. I just wanted to make sure that you know I'm not going to get arrested for you know something, sorry. something, something that you know is constitutionally protected, like taking photos. That's all. Okay. Thanks a lot. All right. I got this full request form to turn in here. Um, as it was, it it is for. Uh, public records as far as police reports and that. Yep. I just put a third option on the thing okay. and wrote my request on the back. On the back. And okay. I'm just requesting who authorized the signs that say no photos, photographs in here are prohibited because okay. they're definitely not. Um, the chief of police's email and okay. also the police lobby. Uh, Did you mark somewhere on the bottom? I have an email address on there. Okay. Um, 
They should be able to get a hold of me at any any time there, okay. auditing Erie County. Uh, do you have ID? I just need to make a photocopy for the FOIL request. Um, I have ID, but I'm not going to give it up. Okay, I don't know if she'll be able to fulfill the request. On that. Yeah, she will, because there's it's New York State law. If you just want to give me a photocopy of that, so that I have a copy. But yeah, she'll be able to do it. I'm going to need you to not film in here at all. I'm sorry. It's private information. Um, no, thank you. There you go. That's creating privacy. I like that. Thank, thank you very much. If you're a police chief, it's important to understand the laws and regulations that govern police stations. Or you put your officers in situations like this. Your concerns about individuals taking photographs or videos inside the station is unlawful and can infringe on individuals' rights. In fact, several court cases have established that individuals have the rights to take photographs or videos in public spaces, including police stations, as long as they are not interfering with law enforcement activities. One such case is Glick v. Conniff, where the First Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that the right to record police officers in a public space is a basic and well-established liberty safeguarded by the First Amendment. So putting up a sign in a police station prohibiting photography and video while in the station is not only unlawful, but it can also violate individuals' constitutional rights. As a law enforcement officer, it's important to be aware of these legalities and to respect the rights of citizens while performing your duties. But that's going to do it for this video. Much love to these awesome creators. Again, make sure you use the links in the description to go check out their channels and show them some love. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next episode.